So today, guys, I'm in Bournemouth at uh, the Vitality Stadium, look, the home of Bournemouth AFC right here. And I'm here for the PG Card Show. I thought I'd come along and check it out. And what I want to actually do today, rather than I'm actually not buying anything today because we buy a lot lately. I want to just see what the most expensive items are. So we're going to go and ask all the vendors now and see what sort of rare and expensive items are actually up for grabs at a local card show like this. So let's go. All right, so we are at uh, Mint Rip right here. Question is. What's your most expensive item? What have you got? I know you got a lot of sports here. Oh wait, is it you reckon, yeah? One of one. You ain't get it anywhere else. One of one from so. So what sort of value are we talking with some of these cards right here? It's hard to tell really. It's, um, it's whatever someone's willing to pay for them on the one of ones. So yeah. I reckon the rookie tagging is the top one there, but that yeah. has to be a big offer. Yeah. So what is minimum you would accept from them? Let's put it that way. Four Just figures. Four figures. Four figures for all of these, four, okay? For each one. That's where I'd be at. That is not bad. So. I like that, okay. Oh, you've got a couple of Charizards, though. Eh? They've just come in today, yeah, so... Nice. Very nice, the nine. That's not bad, actually. Japanese, I was saying that, it's Japanese. Quality's often pretty good on Japanese, isn't it? So, pretty nice, actually. Dragonite in there as well. This is a really nice one in Japanese as well. I don't often see that one. So, I like it, very nice. Cheers, guys. So, I've also got my helper as well today. Look, my son is here today. Hey, Hugo. What are we doing, Hugo? Expensive cards, what everybody has. Yeah, and are we going viral? Yeah, <laughs> we're going Come viral. On. Yeah, boy. Let's go and ask over here. So we got a. Uh, so we got a little vendor here. We've got Pokey Spice go, over here. Boy. Hello, mate. You good? You good? Good, mate. So we're we're trying to find out what the most expensive items people have got. Right. What you got? Yeah. What's your most expensive? Uh, it's probably going to be the Kyogre, um, the no-dot code, which obviously is uh, more rare than the usual one. I did have it sealed, right? Right. Why did but you it, not? It's not sealed anymore. Why did you unseal it? I don't really need to get into more of that on the video, but... <laughs> did it get grade four? It used to be sealed, okay? Right, okay. Somebody took that from me. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's... It, it would have been crazy, crazy. Yeah. Like, on my on my Instagram, it was still silver. Yeah. Ah. Not anymore, baby. <laughs> it is what it is, baby. What? You got some booster packs, though. That's quite yeah, nice. I did a trade for that. Nice. nice Spanish base pack. Uh, oh, it's two, Spanish. Two Shadowless, uh, Gyarados, and Perfect, but they were like 15 minutes. Nice. So, yeah. Going and we got a few slabs also, here as well. I also traded a Legend Collection today, bro. Okay. These are from my old mystery bags I did. They come back home. <laughs> oh, right. I traded uh, the Gengar Altar in a 10 and the Jelly Bean Gengar for these bad boys. Very nice. Yeah, but I need them for the set, innit? Yeah, fair enough. That's, set. That's it. Cheers, man. That's okay, so we got a few other like Pokemon stalls and a lot of places selling lots of bulk at this show, actually. I saw a really cool thing in a minute that I'll show you for selling bulk, which is completely neat because of like vintage stuff like that. But I think if we're going to find high-end items, guys, it's going to be slabs at people's stands, isn't it? That's where we're going to find all the big stuff. What we're going to do now is try and find some more slab vendors. And I've just seen one right here. Let's check this one out. Hey, guys. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm good. Uh, I am trying to find the most valuable item for sale at the show today. It won't be that one. It's it, won't, it won't be that one. It won't be, but you've got something big in here. Oh, you've got slabs. It's, always, it's going to be a slab, right? Moonbrion. in a nine. 9.5. 9.5, sorry. Are you tempted to cross-grade that to try and get the PSA 10? Or yeah, I am, I am tempted. Yeah. I yeah. I think uh, cash paper. you might get more traction in a PSA 10. But like, let us know in the comments, guys. Do you reckon that would have more traction in a PSA 10 or as a 9.5? I'm saying PSA 10. Because even though it's PSA 10s will be less harsh. It's just like it's a 10. You can't get like a PSA 10 black label. No. So it just got a cap. It does. It does. It does definitely add to it. Charizard's nice from Evolutions there in the nine. But I like that. 1K right there. So I think that's been beaten at the moment by a couple of sports cards, but that's definitely up there. That's a beautiful card. Thank you, buddy. Oh, what was your store name? Uh, Albert, Lloyd. Albert Lloyd and LD Cards Instagram. Nice to meet you guys. Cheers. So guys, this is the, um, the thing that I saw that's amazing. I've never seen another show do this, but look, they've just got all the sets. 
We're just like the bulk. They're all numbered up. It's good. What do you reckon? Is, is this you? I love this. No one else has ever done this at a show before. I was like, it's a lot of effort to do it, but I guess once you've done it once, it's easy to just top them up again. Yeah. It's, yeah. How long did it take to do it in the first place? Uh, months and months. <laughs> sort of volunteered with Tom here and there. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, I love it. I think people really like this. So how far back do we go? All the way down yes. to base? Yeah, uh, base, yeah. All the way up till current. That is wicked. Check that out. You had somewhere you got fancy with a sticker, yeah, see? I mean, some of them are looking a bit broken now. They've been around <laughs> a long time, but there's what's inside them that counts. Isn't it? It's a really clever way to do it as well. So, and uh, I'm sure, do you actually manage to sell a few of the sand? Do people take a few? People love this. Yeah? People love a rummage. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Like I say, I wonder if we'll see more of this at shows. I don't know, with the time it took you, but thanks guys, cheers. Okay, we got Pokey Self next, and uh, you got some cool bits here, I love these. Have you got the card for that one? Did that not get a card? I did get a card, uh, I don't have the card anymore. So it's gone, it's so gone. Now. I'm trying to find the most valuable item at the show today. What you got? Well, What's your top top uh, item? You know what? I don't have the craziest, craziest stuff. We're not, we're not hitting four figures. We're yeah. probably closer to, you know, 350, 450 sort of thing. See, the, uh, these, like, holy, look at that, the reverse stamping there. It's absolutely good. It's actually 350 in a 10. I thought that might be more that. That seems quite low, actually, in a 10. Is, there's no, like, recent souls. I know there was some around 400 USD, but then there's none, yeah. on, you know, on listings, so. That's a really nice card, and. That's the simplified Chinese. Sim I was going to say, yeah, yeah, but still though, it I still know. looks awesome. The texture is amazing. So they're printed in Japan, so the quality is great. Obviously, yeah, that's, I love simplified Chinese. A, a lot of these hits down here, they're simplified Chinese. It's like, yeah. you know, if you, if you like nice the artwork, one. but you don't really want to pay Japanese prices. I've got the Japanese one in a PSA 10. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much is that? That's really it's cool. about 700 now that's gone up to. When I got it though, I got it for free and like a, someone sent me a box of cards and they just sent it to me because it was oh, a promo card, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. In Japanese? Yeah, Japanese, that's a promo card. Just in some bulk box? Yeah, and it was like, cool. And then I got it back after two years being away from grading and it was a 10. I checked the price, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> that's expensive. You did all right on that. Nice. Mate, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Hey, Hugo, what's the best thing you've seen today so far? Oh. I like the chin scrap. What are you seeing? What's good? So I see I when I see when I when a um, person had one expensive card. Oh, okay. And it, and it wasn't that shiny. No, it wasn't shiny. No. Oh, so if it to be expensive, it's got to be shiny. Yes. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't 100% work like that, my boy. It doesn't 100%, but it's good. Yeah. So also, what happened yeah. here? Wow, these are cool, innit? Look at these artworks on these. These are sick. Magic Cup Goat, that one I like a lot. Which one do you like out of these for? Oh, uh, I think this one. Well, that one with all of them in it. Yeah. That one is very cool. I like that a lot. So we're going to have a vendor. We've got Pokey Lee. How you doing, Pokey Lee? What is your motion? We want to ask you a question for the video. Go on then. Hugo, you ask. Uh, what, what is your most expensive card? Go. What is your most expensive card? For sale? Or yes. Time? For sale right sale. now, yeah. What have you got here? I think the most expensive thing I've got with me is... And you have a lot of stuff with you. Ray Ray. Wow, in a, in a 10, that is very nice. What sort of value is that? 1700. You might be number one so far today okay. from everyone we've gone through. I think that could be number one so I far think, today. Yeah, check an eBay comp earlier. I haven't priced it, with, but it's, it's mm. about 16, 1700 pounds. That's beautiful. And you've got the whole. Well, they, they, they come as a set, all, all uh, six. Yeah. The Groudon's so, lovely, yeah, I love the Groudon. Nine, eight, eight, yeah. three tens, so. That is awesome. That was upsetting. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet, I bet, I bet it was, definitely. Yeah, probably, yeah. But that, it's not bad, I love these though. Yeah. It's one of my favourites, and the Charmander one. Have you got, oh, one here. Thousand. Yeah, I think. You've, yeah, I definitely think you're probably probably packing some of the biggest heat today at the show so far. So far from where we're getting, eh? You've, put, you've beaten Poke yourself. Oh, yeah, by a landslide. <laughs> right, we're just ripping these packs from Revolve with Sky. Hugo, you're going to get me the Moonbury on? Yeah. Do I get to have it? He has. Have you really? Be careful, Hugo. You might have something good in here. Right, make a pack with just. Yeah, jet one at a time, really gently. You reckon you got something big? What do we reckon? It, might be just a v. it could just be a V. Yeah, you managed to get something. You might win this. And oh, it's a V. 
Oh, Fee Max, oh, nice! We take that, we take that. Go on in, Cam, you go, buddy. Can you beat the V Max? What are you getting, Cam? What do you want, Cam? <laughs> Here we go. Has it got anything? And. No, you okay. Wow. Hugo is winning. Moment of truth. Daddy, you can do this. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. And. Ah! Oh, it's a hollow. Yeah. I beat you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going, mate? Good. Is it Elite Four Collectibles? Is she guys? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. We are trying to find out something today yep. for the what vlog. Do you like Valuable card or yeah. like sealed item? Oh, most, well it could, okay, it's how about both? Both, right, okay. valuable cards. Yeah. We're gonna look along this row here for PSA. Right, okay. So we so got, got Valillion a PSA 10. 1,000 on that, nice, the Moonbrion, 14. Oh, there we go, I think we've just found, wait. You've just taken top tier. There's two Moonbrions. What, look at the Moonbrions there. That is gorgeous, and the ponchos as well. That is very cool. The Ventures PSA 10 when you can have the seal box. That is very nice. What sort of value does this go for? 5,000 and then another very rare box. Wow. Yeah, wait, wait. So so that's got the promo. When's XY? Wow, yeah, that's an older one. Four packs in it. There's only one on the market and there's no sold data in the last six months. That is very cool. So they are some very nice items there. That's awesome, yeah. Um, what sort of value does this go for? Uh, about five grand. And this? Uh, it's really hard to price, so the only one on the market is 4,700 USD. Jesus. So I'm asking three five on it. And these were, if I'm not mistaken, about 30 quid when they came out. They were. <laughs> that, so you can so say this... the same with these, were about five when they came out. I know, exactly, out. I know. List blister. That's great. When I started collecting and got back into Pokemon, ponchos were going for, I think, the highest I'd seen them for was 50 quid. Yeah. That was the highest I'd see a poncho this for. One has sold Day. It's just staying in the display for the end of the That one's so wow. Okay, is that the guy that just left? No. <laughs> no. And then we got this one here as well. Beautiful. I think you are winning. If we're talking sealed cards, you are currently the top card right here with that one. That's beautiful. I've actually got that tattoo being put on my arm next nice. Sunday. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. So we got another stand here at the PG Card Show. What's the store name? Geek Portal. Geek Portal, awesome. And I saw you got some slabs. So and you've already picked it up, you already know what's coming. Most valuable card of the show. Wait a minute, you might have just won. Could you mind if I hold it? No, yeah, Sorry. Of so this is a Rita signed Kangaskhan. So it's got a 10 on the auto and then just authentic on the card. Wow. Four grand on this as well. But that is gorgeous. That is a wicked card, isn't it? What do you reckon to that? Yeah? I'll, I'll Four thousand pounds. Have you got that? No? No? <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. I, I've just spotted a wild Viv. What up, Viv? I know, look at this. I didn't wear mine today. No, I'm going to my queen. Oh, mate, look at the money. Look at that. Oh, mate, your pocket money. Marie let you spend the pocket money today. What do you say? What you pick up? Nothing. We'll just find the most valuable cards at the show. That's pretty much it. So, oh yeah, oh, no, yeah, we bought some evolving skies. Oh, Spent thirty quid on packs, pulled that. Thirty quid on packs. <laughs> Free. Yeah, GG. Yeah, GG. Oh. You're gonna be in there. Oh, great with Ace use code Matt. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's use code Matt Cully. That's it. So we're now heading up to the upstairs parts over two floors. But Hugo has something to say to you guys. May I make sure to like that subscribe button? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> See you on next floor. <laughs> so here we go, this is a floor number two. So pretty much saying, actually it seems a bit brighter up here. But most importantly guys, they have the bar and we need some food, don't we? Food, drink. What are you going for? Beer? Wine? Shot of vodka? Um <laughs> Alright, so we got another stand here. It's got lots of slabs, so we'll definitely ask here. What's the store name? Right, okay. We are part of Club Amity. Yes, and you obviously came down to our show Club Amity. Yes, you were down ours. Yeah, so I'm yeah. trying to find out today the most valuable item people have got for sale. What's yours? It's going to be a slab, right? Yeah, two things for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. signed by all Veronica Taylor, uh, signed uh, Pikachus in 
So you didn't grade the cigarettes, you just had them authenticated, all of them, yeah? So yeah. That way you're more likely they're all going to match, which I guess is one benefit to doing that, isn't it? Yeah, so they're all sequential and everything, so it's nice in that way. What sort of value is that whole thing there? About 2,000. About 2,000? Okay, awesome. Okay. And master set of unbroken bonds here for 1,200 as well. Whoa, master set of unbroken bonds. Now that is pretty good, I actually have to say. And where is... So I have the rainbow from this. Mm -hmm. Have you got, so you say master set, so it's got the promos in here as well. Um, no. So master main set. Master main set. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you got, obviously the rainbow zard. Yeah, um, yeah. And then obviously the normal one. Yeah. Which are the two sort of afters, but yeah. yeah. And then obviously you get your alternate art ones in here as well, like this one, this one, this one as well. That's a really nice one as well. Yeah. No, that's really nice very cool. Yeah, that's really nice actually. I've not, I haven't seen too many. No. Um, lady, that's very cool, and that's about 1200 there. Hello, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> we have another vendor here. I've come to interrupt your conversation. I'm going to be super rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just shoot, shooting oh, yeah. it. Uh, good. I'm trying to find people's most valuable items they're selling. So now you're going to have a slam. A very boring one, but it's probably the Moonbrion. Oh yeah, you've got um, them both. Got ja four. Japanese. So, no, so this is Korean. Okay, got Korean. This one at four fifty. Lowest population and the lowest price, but yeah, Japanese ones obviously all over the place. But Very nice. Quite high at the moment. Eleven hundred there, the Ray Ray as oh, well. Eleven ugly yeah. cars. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, we like the Giratina. So that's I would say, I would and say, a Gold Star. Yeah, you got yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. that's actually up. There you go. Eleven hundred yeah. in a ten as well. Yeah. Damn, that's not bad at all. Um, I wouldn't say highest value, but I don't know if you know anything about the skateboards, but Bear Walker Series 2, um, yeah. the toxicity boards, they're all limited. I think they've kind of moved on now and he keeps on releasing. Yeah, loads. are they the ones that came with cards? Has that got a card so as well? For the cards, these are like the first two series, right. so you get the authenticity receipt. Right, okay. So yeah. it just shows that it's... It is what it is, yeah, and signed by Bear as well. Yeah, so this is like Series 2, obviously five boards in Series 2. I think they made yep. 750 each of those ones. Nice. I def definitely like um, a lot of these. Cool stuff. Yeah, the Gold Star. That's awesome there. Yeah. Oh, we got, so, so we have <laughs> even, at, okay, so we've not got a seller here. We have, so we have Seizure here. Card at the show today. You're a signed, so, and you signed that before it was popular to have them signed. Six years ago. <laughs> Six years ago. <laughs> to be fair, guys, this binder, I've already had a look through it. It's got, it's got some heat in there. Gold stars, base set hollows, uh, signed Arita card. And loads of fortress, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta love the ugly Pokemon. <laughs> That's it. You want to one flavor of free purchase today? Oh yeah, yeah. Want to see? Yeah, let's get them in the video. Let's, let's go. I'll show you the supporters today. Two pounds plus purchase of the day. Two quid. Oh, we got one piece. Yeah, yeah, cool. One piece. One piece. So these are all original print. Wow. And there we go. Two pound. You're trash, but I love you. That is awesome. Where's it going? What are you doing with it? Um, probably on the laptop. Or something. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The collector's game definitely has got some uh, some good taste here with all the ace slabs. Oh, thank you. I like to see that. So use code back, Cully, five percent off. Right. <laughs> what is your most valuable card at your stand today, or item, anything? What? Should be the champion, uh, world champion card at uh, PSA nine. Nice. Okay. Now that's awesome. So that's the one from London, isn't it? Well, it's London World, it's that one, right? Uh, so this or is that the Japanese? Yeah, yeah, that's yes, yeah, London. <laughs> Uh, so this one's from India, it is. So oh no, sorry, but this is the one they made for oh, yes, yes, London, yes, yes. but this is the, in. so this is an Indian, yeah, yeah, Indonesian. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we got Asgard collectibles. We're trying to find out your most valuable item at the show today. What so you got? Most valuable item is probably going to be this one here, our PSA 10 Alone and Friends. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, the Japanese, texture in it in Japanese is next uh, level good, beauty, isn't it? It is isn't it? absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so that's going around two, 2K at the moment. Wow. Um, if we're talking Jeez. about raw card, then you still obviously got One Piece, which is obviously quite big. Yeah. Then we go more into Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So we've got like the Appaloosa, the Ghost Rare, um, Stardust Dragon, first edition as well. Yeah. And then if you like Lokana, 
obviously enchanted Elsa, Elsa yeah she's enchanted, uh, that's a big at the moment that is yeah, yeah, yeah. but these are not one piece is yeah popping. so obviously one piece as well as it is uh, the big one obviously being the Luffy sign Luffy which we've still got all right so I did actually end up buying something for myself today I managed to pick up one of these so I've got every booster box bar this one sealed so I've picked this one up sealed I now have all the OP series sealed that's actually a lie. I need OP3. If anyone's got an OP3 box they want to sell for me for a good price, I'll take it. But I need OP3. But, and then I've got, I've got everyone. So, boom. Anyway, we've got on fire cards here. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hello, spuds, good. spuds. Yeah. What's your most valuable item today? Come what have you got? Big Ray. Oh, the gold star. In, oh, Japanese as well. So, that was from a collection box, wasn't it? That, that one's from a box, that one. Is that one from set? or? Uh, yeah, that's from um, Blue Sky. Class. So they actually had a, a set called Blue Sky Stream, didn't they? Yeah, that's it. And then it, well, no, that was our new set. So this is Blue Sky, they did that name before? No idea. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't no know idea. that. I didn't Very collect, nice. I didn't collect back in that era. No. Um, so I'm kind of new to it. Yeah, it's yeah. Only the, it's only the gold stars in that era that I try and snap up. No, oh, they're weird. I love them. Gold stars are beautiful. They really are. Shinings, gold stars. Yeah. They're some of the best things I think we've seen. EX era as well. Reverse hollow EX era. Oh, peak. I love them. They are so good. But that's beautiful. Free. You are nearly Who's the most valuable. Who? So at the moment, it's Elite Four collectibles. Um, so yeah, PM1 may have you something to be, but they've got the poncho box sealed still. Ah, uh, right, okay. So it's got Mario Pikachu. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Yes, we'll find out. There might be that one. We'll find out. But thank you so much, yeah. man. See you later. So we got PM1. You've always got some fire. You weren't meant to be here though. It's last minute. Nah, so last minute you're actually quite low on the stock. You haven't got your fancy cases out. Yeah, I haven't. Not this time. There's still some nice bits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Most valuable items you got. Like, what's your top what tier? You we have. I'm, I'm hoarding uh, moon runs at the moment. Yeah, I know it's this. Yeah, Jesus. Cool. So uh, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't forget the OGs. No, you cannot. I prefer the OGs. That's yes, good. that's, that's nice. That's the first edition, that, that is first edition as well. Yeah, because yeah. back when they did first edition Japanese, yeah. that was actually up till really recently as well, wasn't it? They think they stopped in. They did it in Sword and Shield still for a bit, didn't they? I know, I think I might have been Sun and Moon and then it stopped for Sword and Shield. That might be what it is. But that is awesome. But I think you potentially might have the biggest item of the show with this. How re how recent are we? Are we pretty solid on that? Is that where we reckon? That from Tokyo. And in Tokyo, yeah. they were asking six and a half, seven k for it. Really? Yes. Mine's cheap. Mine's wow. A, mine's a bargain, right? So I think you officially do have the most valuable item of the show. Now I've done the rounds. Yeah. yeah just be our Elite Four collectibles. Oh, no, they had. Like Matt won't be happy. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> so they have the seal poncho box. Nice. Yeah. So you got some other cool stuff there. You want to show? Do you want to highlight? I just want to show you the first edition because yeah. they don't get enough love for me. Yeah. We've got a nice red here. So aerodactyl. Yeah, they do look really nice. Oh yeah, that's Shadow. Yeah, proper. Very nice. That's a John's plushie's favourite. Yeah. And that's a very, very and the first edition. That is a really nice card in there. That's also I actually really like this. And this, this one here, as well. The flash fire one. Is that English? Oh, that's a Japanese version. That is really nice. You've, yeah, honestly, you've always got some great stuff. Always see you at London Card Show, everywhere you go, appreciate you've got it all cleared out. Yeah. Thank you, man, appreciate it, cheers. cheers so there we go, that is the PG Card Show down here in Bournemouth, and the winner for the most valuable item today is PM1 with the Mario Pikachu, only just over the uh, Poncho Pikachu, uh, which is a really cool item actually. They had some really good stuff. I was quite surprised at how much high value items were actually at this show for being one of the smaller shows stuff. There really was. So yeah, if you live in this area, it's definitely a show worth going to check out, especially if you're a Pokemon fan. Very much lots of Pokemon products there. So if you're a Pokemon fan, definitely go and check that one out for the future. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you go check out my card show. So I do a card show called Collect Clash in Brighton, and I did a vlog and I spent a thousand pound on vintage packs. Check it out. The link is down here below. But other than that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, drop some comments, everything down below. See you in the next one. Peace.